Hello everyone, I'm looking at you in the mirror. How are you today? So everyone, thanks for joining me in this video. My name is Owen Fox and today I want to say that I'm detoxing and I'm not feeling the best, a little bit. I'm actually feeling a lot better, but a few minutes ago I was feeling really like lousy and poorly for like around an hour. Just, you know, you know when you're like tired and like... But detoxing is my choice and he detoxing is healing, optimizing and strengthening your body. And for anyone who's interested in health, I've been observing my pee in a glass bottle like for years, like different glass bottles, you know, like some have broken or been lost. And basically, I have more sediment in my pee. So anyone who like is a fan of Dr. Morris or health will know sediment in your pee is an important factor to show your kidney, adrenal and lymphatic health. They're all connected. So in this video, what I really want to say is when you're feeling down, don't just like recklessly express yourself onto other people. Or, like, when your energy is off or down or you're upset or irritated, be mindful and caring of how you express yourself. Because people feel your energy. We're all, like, empathic beings. We're, we're human beings and we're, we feel energy from other people. Like, we feel the emotions. Do you ever look at somebody and then you look, you look at them and they're looking at you? Like, we feel the energy of their focus. Similarly, we really, really feel when someone's angry or upset or irritated or, like... We can even feel our sadness and start crying or feel like get teary eyed, which has happened to me in the past. Um, so everyone, like, I'm a pretty heart felt per heart person. I hate to hurt people, and that's what's upset me the most in my relationships in the past. I've like felt sad for my part in upsetting the person or causing them stress or upset or sadness. So, in this video, I want to ask you one. I'm inviting you to become more conscious of how you express yourself. And on Facebook a few minutes ago, I said there is a difference between a judgment where you're like kind of criticizing someone and putting them down as if you're above them or superior in some way, like morally or ethically superior or better than somebody. That's a judgment. So there's a difference between a judgment and an observation because my partner today said someone had like a low energy. And she said, oh, she said, oh, maybe you shouldn't have said that. But I said, no, no, say it, like, say it. it's good to be, like, honest. And I, then I said, did she have a low energy? And she said, yeah, really low energy. And, like, I can have a really low energy. We all can have a really low energy if we're tired, detoxing, like, menstruation time for a woman. That is detoxing, by the way. That's what that time of the month is, preparation for a healthy baby, detox. So, what I wanted to say is... When you do state your observations, just be careful you're not too negative or like intense with your emotions, too reckless or negative because people feel your energy and you can startle or upset people or get into an argument. You can get into a break of a relationship by being just uncareful with your expression of your energy and emotions and your mind, your thoughts, your opinions. So everyone, be careful like about all this sort of stuff. It's like essentially important not to express yourself too carelessly or negatively because people feel your energy, your emotions. People are like sponges. Similarly, help people to become more conscious of this in your life because you probably have family members or people or people in your life who are just they just they're not they're not careful with how they express themselves to you, and that means you feel the hurt from their reckless energy, and. Anyway, guys, that's all I want to say. But if you want to be stronger and feel it less, you have to either disconnect or have, like, really, like, improve your energy in life. Improving your energy is a massive lifestyle change of improving everything about your health and just being much more conscious and living in your heart, cleaning your heart, body, and mind. That's a, that's a full-scale job that lasts years. So, but anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for being caring, because that's what I really want to say in this video. And, um... Let's all like optimize and improve the level of care we have for ourselves and each other. And let's look after each ourselves better by practicing self-love better than we used to. So 2017 is coming. So I wish you a lovely year of self-love improvement. And uh, watch this video. I'll put, I'll put some videos up about self-love. And I uh, hope you had a nice 2016. And life's beautiful. It's a blessing. It's a gift. It's challenging. But it's an amazing, amazing, amazing gift. And I'll never take it away. The fact that it's amazing. Take care, everyone. Lots of love. Thanks for watching.